All right, I just got done editing the video for the hailstorm, and now I'm getting a lot more hail. Oh my goodness. It took me a while to put my camera together. It was just raging, hailing, just a second ago. It always does that when I turn on the camera. Nature makes me sick. It's gonna be doing this nonsense all night. Tough. Makes me sick. Whatever. Anyways, I just washed this pan. Did I need to tell you guys that? No, but did I? Yes, I did. I did, I did. But I have a reason that I told you. So, oh, I never show you guys in my drawers, do I? In my cupboards. Um, I wanted to see, I had another can of this, and since it was left up here for like three months or whatnot in uh, freezing weather, I wanted to see if this would still be good after more than likely freezing over, and it was. I was impressed. Don't pay attention to that unicorn up there now. Somehow, the unicorns that run around outside when I'm cooking, somehow that one jumped onto the box. Magical little things. Why don't you explain that to me? You can't explain the unexplainable, okay? So don't even try in the comment section. Well, you can try, and I would probably enjoy it. So yeah, why not go ahead and try? <laughs> what do I, I ain't got nothing to cook. Man. What am I gonna make tomorrow? Do you guys wanna look with me? I should leave this out, this corned beef brisket, and cook that. Some, with some corn tomorrow or the California blend I could make spaghetti or something with this hamburger oh, man I gotta go grocery shopping this is disgusting behavior <laughs> look at this <laughs> this is a bachelor's fridge I mean you'd expect to see beer in there uh, in a bachelor's fridge but yeah uh, I think I'm gonna be Taking it easy on the beer for a while. On the beer. When I get my new property, I want to hook up this uh, solar powered camera that I got. And it's got a speaker on it. Um, so I can talk to people that after I like make a, make a gate and everything like that, I can have people, I'll have people purposely come over so that I could, so that I can try this out. I'll get on it and I'll say, what do you want? <laughs> you know you could feel like a a rich snob with something like this right and then i could push a button and open the gate is that okay the the camera quality is pretty good got that off a of timu this isn't a timu commercial or anything i'm just i'm just saying that's my plan that's my plan stan Mmm! I think it settled down. It's kind of just, kind of just talking. It is cold out here. Got, got my uh, got my trusty diesel heater running. See, I use those uh, cheap Chinese diesel heaters, and I've noticed that I have to replace it once a year i mean i could take it apart and clean it and all that but it's just like i, I don't know i just replace it once a year it's only 120 bucks for you know a winter full of nice heat um and you don't have to worry about carbon monoxide it's worth it to me instead of that thing that thing is emergencies only, this wood stove. Because you gotta constantly stoke the fire. You gotta get it started up in the morning. Uh gotta keep putting logs in there. You gotta keep going outside and chopping wood. All that stuff. 
or you can simply go outside and fill your diesel tank um, my tank is two and a half gallons and it lasts for like two days so and then the solar power the power that it uses the electricity that it uses which is barely anything barely anything for electricity it's it only it's uh, replenished with solar power so I just once I have the diesel heater I just need to buy diesel and then I've uh, got a nice warm RV you know people people really like watching I like watching other people sharing their lives too seeing what they're what's going on with them you know seeing how other folk are living their lives especially crazy people like me that like to live out way out in the middle of nowhere off grid a lot of you have asked if this rv still works i still start it uh probably once or twice a month runs just fine um i've got a lot of weight off the tires i jacked up all uh four corners of the, of the rv and it's sitting on jack stands does do the tires have a flat spot on it though because it's been sitting for two years they may i i would i, I would really like uh anybody out there in the um that's watching please tell me if you've ever parked an rv uh for more than two years and the tires were fine please let me know that my tires i mean you guys remember i just got my tires they're pretty much brand new i just got them like three years ago had to replace all those tires remember that that was a nightmare driving down the interstate going 10 miles per hour <sighs> Woo! glad i have dualies friends you're about to witness culinary mastery culinary magic cooking that is so good it almost should be not legal a video documentary of true culinary genius. <laughs> From this day forward, after witnessing this awesomeness, this video will be put in the history books. If you're not sitting down, <laughs> if you have children in the room, you should make sure that they can handle it. Seeing things that are so awesome, it can warp their mind. No food will ever look good to them again if they witness this. All right, that's enough. Friends, let's do some cooking. Some cooking with Mike. You know, it is so funny. My, my phone might not make a noise, Maybe all day long, I don't know. But if I start filming, everybody and their mama has to start calling, texting, messaging. It's just, it's weird how that happens. But anyways, I digressed for a second. Hold on now. All right, y'all ready to see some, some true magic here? Cha-ching, turn on the light. Boiling some water here. I am going to be making some mac and cheese. And I'm going to put this barbecue flavored Vienna sausage in it. Two cans of it. The cheese is off to the side. Now the reason I'm making two boxes is because so later on, I'm planning on probably making some burgers. Or a burger and then I can have some mac and cheese as a side so I'll show it to you when I am done it is just so ridiculous maybe at the end of this video I'll show you the bloopers of uh, <laughs> making this cooking video okay bye all right folks prepare your eyes if you're not sitting down you probably should here we go the big reveal Mmm, mm. look at that. It's kind of like uh, hot dogs and mac and cheese like you used to eat as a kid, you know, but this is Vienna sausage. Probably made of the same stuff, I don't know. Nothing but the healthy stuff, of course, for me. 
<laughs> Anyways, let me try it. Let me try it on camera here. Oh, all right. I don't know. It's edible. I put salt and pepper and stuff in there. Maybe the Vienna sausage wasn't a good idea. It tastes all right, though. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. Share the videos. And I will see you in the next video. I'm going to add some hot sauce to this. Mm -mm. Friends, you're about to witness culinary mastery. Culinary magic. Cooking that is so good, it almost should be not legal a video documentary of true culinary genius <laughs> oh my goodness um from this day forward after witnessing this awesomeness this video will be put in the history books. <laughs> I can't do it. Oh, it's so stupid. <clears throat> if you're not sitting down. <laughs> If you have children in the room, you should make sure that they can handle it. Seeing things that are so awesome, it can warp their mind. No food will ever look good to them again if they witness this. All right, that's enough.